A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Good morning, my friends. Thursday, April 15th, again, gospel is from John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy, for the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift to the Spirit. The Father loves the Son, has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, that puts it in black and white terms, doesn't it? Doesn't it? The wrath of God will be upon him. This is an urgent call to belief, to faith, and to love. Christ comes to testify to what is above. What is above, of course, is Almighty God. And what God desires of us is for us to see in Jesus Christ the light of faith, which we spoke about yesterday, and to see in that light true possibilities of life eternal which is yet to come. So as we move toward the light, which was yesterday's gospel, today we have this, this proclamation that Jesus is from above and he testifies to the light by the good works that he has done. You know, the gospels of John can seem a little convoluted at times. They're harder in a way to ex explain to, to other people. You don't have the, the, the parables and, and the testimony of Christ in the way you do in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. But, but John talks about ultimate things, ultimate things, the, 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 the ultimate nature of who we are as children of God, the important ultimate nature of understanding the presence of Christ in our lives, the importance and, 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 and the, the power of doing that which is good and not that which is evil and lives in darkness, which we heard about the other day. So live in the light, my friends, because that is the testimony of Christ from above and let that light lift you up and move you forward into the love that only God can give. Take care, my friends. We'll see you tomorrow. And now, my friends, as we have shared the word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion.
My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. <laughs>